So I want to talk about four different types of assessment. Formative, summative, ipsative and synoptic assessment. So formative assessment is assessment that's run in the course of the learning itself. So an opportunity, if you like, for students to understand that they've grasped fundamental concepts, to track their own progress, and probably to rehearse, to some extent, whatever the final assessment is going to look like. So you might break down your summative assessment, the assessment that's going to be for credit, break it down and not give opportunities for students to effectively rehearse their understanding. So summative assessment is normally a final assessment, although that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to come at the very end of a particular module or course. It could be that if you design your summative assessment intelligently, that you can actually uh, assess some of the outcomes earlier than the very end of the module. So assuming you are assessing outcomes, not knowledge content, then in theory it is possible to spread the assessment throughout a particular uh, module. Now it's interesting just to note that our American cousins sometimes talk about evaluation in place of what we in the UK would think of as summative assessment. So if you think of formative assessment and evaluation or course evaluation in the US sense, in the UK sense we would talk about formative assessment and summative assessment. The next two forms of assessment are less well known and less well discussed uh, or practiced in higher education. They are ipsative assessment and synoptic assessment. So let's take them one at a time. Ipsative assessment is a measurement of students' ability or development or capability development over time based on their starting point. So if a student currently doesn't necessarily have the ability when they start a module to reflect on their own emotional engagement with a, an aspect of performing arts, but at the end of the module they clearly have progressed very much in that um, outcome, they will score highly in that ipsative assessment. Someone who comes in with already a great sense of their own emotional sense, they're already very self-aware, they won't necessarily score as highly, despite the fact that at the end the performances, in this example, are very much um, different. It might be that the person who's got a very highly developed sense might perform very well, someone who has a, 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 a who has achieved more through a module but hasn't necessarily reached the same level, might actually score higher. right? So ipsative is very much a self-measurement uh, assessment. It's not that common in higher education, uh, certainly in credit-bearing modules, but it is part of the self-reflection, the metacognitive process that one would expect to be built into any uh, module design. The final uh, form of assessment I just want to touch on is synoptic assessment. Sometimes our American cousins refer to this as capstone assessment. So synoptic assessment normally covers more than one course, more than one module, so it's integral to program design. But effectively it's what it does, it, it synopsizes, it, it's a, a synoptic assessment, it's, a designed, it's designed generally to allow students to demonstrate how they've linked various skills, attributes, uh, abilities, capabilities acquired across different modules into a single uh, assessment. Now some, some people, it's quite common to put in a research module or a dissertation module, but I think arguably that's testing other abilities. It, it's basically allowing students to provide evidence for other outcomes that are usually written for those particular modules. That's not true synoptic assessment. Synoptic assessment requires on a very program-wide view of learning design. So I hope that's some clarification in those four different forms of assessment. Watch out for some further videos on individual elements and please subscribe, please access the, the YouTube channel, uh, my Twitter feed, my Instagram um, and thank you very much for watching.